Hi, today I'm gonna show you this small CPU in Minecraft. It's so small that I got so impressed with it and I decided to make a video on it about the showcase. So usually I make tutorials, but this time I get to decided to make a showcase because I cannot really believe my eyes. I actually made it. So what is this? This is a 5x5x14 five by five by um, CPU here. So it is 2.5 hertz, surprise, surprise, and you can see how small it is. It has practically nothing in it. And it's so small, it has basically no features in it. And I don't even think you can even call this by a CPU. So, you can see how small it is. I don't know what name I should give it to, so I didn't give any name to the CPU. Let's just look at it. Oh my god. So, without any further ado, let me explain it and show what it can do. So first, let me clear everything away. So I'm gonna clear the instruction pipeline cache stuff all over that. I think all that good. All right. So this is um again you can see it also have fe fetch instruction pipeline. So this is literally what the CPU has. It has fetch. So surprise surprise it has instruction pipeline too. But this has no control unit. It does not have any decode instruction pipeline. But at least it got fetch. It is 5x5x14, five by five by so you can see how small it is. Now, if you look at it from here, you'll see it's 7x7, seven seven, but it's already obvious. It's because there are some borders here. If I cut these off, you'll see it's 5x5. Five five. It's, it's obvious. So you can see how small it is again. Let me just show you a little more to it. So this is the inside. See, there's months and months of torches. We got some uh, locked repeater. I, I don't know what this does. There's just too much going on here. Like it's just used for um, instruction pipeline, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, let's try it out. So first, I'm going to put this in here. So this is, um, it has two bits of instruction, not instruction pipeline, but programming. And this is the output here, so it's so small, and I can barely even call it CPU because it does not have any ALU, any memory. So I don't think you can even call this by a CPU, but in my case, it looks so similar to a CPU. Heck, so similar because it has... Again, it has some clock, it has instruction pipeline, that's it. <laughs> so let's um, step clock and see what we get. Oh, it, it flashed. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's just reading from there to here, that's why. So we got, so we're currently reading from here, as you can see. So this computer, it is getting let through, so that's why we're reading from here. Um, I step clock one more time, and now I get nothing because we're reading from here. Let's try to enable clock. So, surprise, surprise, it's again 2.5 hertz. This is the maximum I could do. However, the CPU can support 5 hertz instead of 2.5. So, how is it 2.5? Again, because it has, not again, but just does not have any L unit, accumulator, all of that. It's super small. Um, and that's 4 ticks. That's the minimum I can possibly do. Um, I could make it 3 or 2 ticks, but what's problematic is that. When I make it at least three ticks or two ticks actually, um, all the torches they have torch about burnout. So that's unfortunate. So it's where the torches they start no longer be powering. They make some sound like tss, and then they stop powering again for some seconds, but then they power in again. So for CPU stability, I made it four ticks, but it supports two ticks too. Again, without any further ado, let's turn it on, and as you can see. It does have a little slow reaction, but in this case, it's actually 2.5 hertz. Incredible. This is incredible. I have no words about this. It is so incredible. Now, I know what you're thinking. Can it run Doom? Um, I mean, it can run Doom uh, with one frame every uh, 2,000 years. So, that's actually very fast. Um, yeah, yeah, and it is so... Yeah, it can run you. The answer is yes. It is obvious, trust me. So, um, pretty much that's a CPU. Um, and uh, if you want to know more about it by yourself, um, that's why I would publish the world download link. So, world download is in the description. Again, if you want to learn more about the CPU manually, you can check it out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching.